Hey everyone, how are you? So today we are doing a slightly adapted uh, Dr. Gregor recipe. So, slight change of plan. Um, <laughs> that just uh, sums up our whole day today. Anyway, my whole day anyway. So, um, normally when I cook this dish, um, Dr. Gregor's recipe calls for um, some spiralized zucchini to make your pasta. Um, I am not a fan of zucchini, so I, I don't buy it and I don't care to eat it. Um, I will eat it if it's in a dish someone else has cooked. Um, but because at the moment we're, in a, we're doing a, um, a CSA, it's called out here, uh, it's basically a farm share. So you sign up uh, with um, some local farms and they will deliver a bag of fruit and veg goodies to you each week. You don't get to choose what you get. You get what's in season, what's ready. So we do happen to have some zucchini uh, today. Um, but I'm not going to use uh, spiralizer to make it into... Uh, pasta. Normally I would use, uh, I think it's the, the Keiko, the Seiko uh, brand uh, spinach pasta. Um, just another way to get uh, some extra greens into us even though it is processed and we're not huge fans of processed stuff. Uh, but it, it, it's a wheat based pasta that's uh, that's got added spinach. But because we uh, don't have any of that, I just found out, um, I'm going to use some uh, rice noodles that I, I have. Um, and those I actually cooked the other day. So this is going to be a little bit different. Um, yeah, anyway. So uh, we don't tend to use oil in the house. So I'm just going to dry fry. The onions. Um, you can find his recipe. Um, it's uh, from Dr. Gregor's How Not to Die cookbook. Um, and like I say, he calls for a zucchini pasta. Um, and basically, just tomatoes, the little cherry snacking tomatoes, um, and the sauce. Um, Kim and I like to um, kick it up a little bit and have a little bit more um, oomph to it, which is why we use the pasta. We, uh, we tend to exercise quite a bit, so we need um, a few more calories than the uh, zucchini alone would give us, which is why we use the pasta. And then uh, we like to use, we've added uh, onions to this recipe, we've added the mushrooms to this recipe. Um, and I'm going to actually add some, ironically, some zucchini, even though I'm not a fan of it. Kim, Kim likes it well enough, and I, I don't mind eating that uh, occasionally. I just, uh, I'm just not a huge fan. So anyway, for dry frying, as you can see, I hope, um, there's nothing in the pan except the onions. Um, I did warm the pan first, and then reduce the heat to... Um, to about a medium temperature, I'm about four on on the gas range here. And again, um, if you want to caramelize these, you certainly can. Um, you can cook them down as good as you would if you had a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there. Um, but the oil does nothing um, except at about 120, 130 calories per tablespoon. I don't need the extra calories um, from oil and all oil, including olive oil and especially coconut oil, are pro-inflammatory. And as you good people know, inflammation is the root of many of our chronic diseases, uh, but especially heart disease and any kind of vascular disease, which is what we are trying to avoid. So um, we do not use oil. Um, if you're nervous about... Uh, how non-stick your pan is and these will stick a little bit sometimes um, but if I need to I'll just add a little bit of water to it or um, a little bit of broth. Uh, the avocado cashew sauce is basically one cup of cashews that have been soaked for about four hours in uh, water. Drain those, add them back into your blender 
Um, we don't really need to soak them because we have the Vitamix which is really powerful and blends everything really nicely. But um, one cup of cashews, half an avocado, a couple of tablespoons of blended lemon and that's basically just a lemon that you've kind of peeled, mushed up and then frozen those pieces. Um, we add some garlic, that's not in his recipe but we just like the flavour and the cardiac benefits of garlic. Uh, two teaspoons of white miso, yes there is sodium in miso, no we don't like sodium but because it comes from miso which is soy based um, you are not getting the impact of the sodium that's actually in the miso and it's still um, still a lower level of sodium in that miso than uh, you would normally get uh, if you just added salt and I can't remember what what the concentration of uh, sodium and just salt is now I do have some salt in the house and that's because some of the uh, vegan stuff I bake requires vinegar and salt to make it rise um, but this is a quarter teaspoon is 480 milligrams so that's what say five so basically 2,000 milligrams of salt your daily intake is a teaspoon of salt so uh, be very very aware of that um, what else do we have in there cashews oh yeah two tablespoons of nutritional yeast uh, we like to use Dr. Furman's because there is I always forget whether it's folic or folate Damn, why can I not remember? Yeah, so you need to be careful of folic acid. Um, your body can't excrete folic acid, and when you're getting, especially cereals um, that are fortified, it's with folic acid, not folate. Folate is the naturally occurring vitamin and you want to try and get folate. So we use um, Furman's Nutritional Yeast. There, I think there's a couple of other brands out there that use uh, folate instead of folic acid. Uh, you want to watch out for that as well if you can. So one and a half cups of veggie broth, two teaspoons of miso, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, folate, folate not folic acid, one cup of cashews, blended lemon, and you just blend that all together. Um, And that'll give you a nice, uh, a nice thick sauce. Oops. All right. Tomatoes in there. I'd say tomatoes are actually the only uh, kind of thick stuff, except for the um, spiralized zucchini that he has in his original recipe. But we had the mushrooms and onions for um, the other health benefits and just a, a heartier meal. So some of my onions were sticking a little bit, um, just because I neglected to stir them, so I just added a little water. And now the mushrooms are in there, I'm just going to turn the heat down even more, just put it to a, a low medium, and uh, put the lid on, and then just let that kind of cook through a little bit. So um, I know there's folks out there that are concerned about uh, non-stick pans and things. As long as your pans are in decent condition, uh, there's not too much to worry about. But you certainly don't want to be adding any Teflon into your um, body if you don't need to unnecessarily. So uh, yeah, check your pans. Make sure you're using um, either wood or silicone uh, cookware. These ones have a nice soft edge on them, uh, so I don't tear up my pans at all and then I just use a sponge to hand wash them. So I'll just let that cook down for a few more minutes. 
then we'll add the sauce, add the pasta, and you're done. Um, I think prep time is probably five ten minutes max, maybe five ten minutes to um, soften up your vegetables and heat them through a little bit. Uh, the sauce. You know, it only takes a minute or two to actually blend up once you've got your ingredients in there. And then uh, another another couple of minutes, so it's less than 30 minutes to, to cook a really nutritious, really healthy, um, really tasty pasta meal. So uh, I'm also going to add some Italian herbs to this. I'm going to have to walk right in front of you, sorry. Excuse me. Some of the um, Italian herb blends have. Uh, my other one? Oh man, I'm really messing up today. Maybe not. Um, some of the Italian herb blends do have salt in them, so uh, I encourage you to keep an eye open for that and avoid that kind if you can. Um, fresh herbs are always preferable. Um, but uh, today we do not have any, so uh, mm. smells so good. And you can see, um, you can see how well cooked through this is you know, without any oil, so. I just don't need it. Anyway, noodles, sauce, and then really you just gotta mix that and let it heat through. I'll just, uh, I'll just take a couple more minutes and then uh, that'll be ready. So yeah, real easy, real simple, straightforward recipe. Tastes so good, no oil, minimum sodium, and uh, maximum flavor. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.